Good evening. I'm here. It is just short of midnight, which uh, is unfortunate because I wanted to start earlier, but I didn't. Oh well. Uh, so, it's it's been a Monday. It's been a weird Monday, mostly negative, but there was some there was some good towards the end. And uh, I'm here. I'm here with the stream. As I said, we are starting Metroid Prime Remastered tonight, and uh, I'll do some theater rhythm later. So we'll do like maybe like an hour forty of each. We'll see. Uh, extra? No, I need to go to extras. Uh, so this, I reacted to the reveal of this at the Nintendo Direct. I have not played any any Prime games at all, except okay. No, I don't. I think all the saved because I edited this before. Yeah, narration's on full, which was in the English version. <laughs> so this was announced in Shadow Dropped a couple weeks ago, and then the physical version came out, I think, last week? It was the week before, I can't remember now. But uh, I have the physical version, which apparently isn't the most common thing. Which, But, na but apparently now it's, it's getting a little more common. So I've had a bit of a, a, bit of a, a weird history with Metroid, and the fact that I didn't really play it at all until, until I was, like, until post-college... I think when I was a kid, I played my friend's copy of Metroid 2 for, like, one night, and I couldn't figure it out, and I was like, my little baby brain could not figure out how to, how to make Samus, uh, roll into a ball. So, that happened, and then, um, I think when I graduated college, after a couple years after that... Oh, no, 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 what happened was I saw Direbor from Vine Sauce, uh, stream Zero Mission during a charity stream. And I watched it, and I'm like, wow, this actually looks really fun. So that led me to play uh, Zero Mission, Fusion, and then Super Metroid, and then, you know, pretty much the rest is history from there. Played all the originals. Uh, I've streamed most of them as well. I haven't streamed the original 2 and 1, but I've streamed the 3DS version and the uh, fan remake of 2. The fan remake of 2 was, like, the first game I streamed, normally, like, on the with alongside Freedom Planet. And then when uh, Dread was coming out a couple years ago, I actually did like a whole marathon, not a marathon, but a whole series of streams of every mainline game leading up to it, including Other M, because I also owe the stream a bad game stream. <laughs> but I have not played any Prime games aside from like a couple hours of, of uh, Hunters, and I never fin I like never finished it. So this is going to be my first real complete playthrough of a Prime game. I am anticipating doing all of them leading up to 4, and I will get 4 when it comes out. I'm hoping and, and kind of expecting 2 and 3 to get remastered as well. And I'll also throw in a Hunter stream and a uh, and a pinball stream, I guess. And, you know, even a, a Federation Force stream. Because apparently Federation Force isn't a bad game. It's just not the game we needed when it came out. So I've heard a lot of good things about this version. Uh, and yeah, I don't really have much else to say about it. I've never experienced this game before. Original Metroid, or, or Metroid Prime. Original Metroid Prime. Prime. Troid. Reprimed. Remastered. Yeah, let's get into it. I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to be great with the commentary tonight. <laughs> so I'm just going to jump into this and uh, enjoy what comes of it. An identified distress beacon has been tracked to a derelict space vessel in orbit above Talon 4. I am playing with the narration on. I know that's not what the American version originally had in it, but why not? It's there. I'm going to listen to it. The cosmos. In the vast universe, the history of humanity is but a flash of light from a lone star. The life of a single person should be lost in space and time. But among the stars, there is one light that burns brighter than all others. The light of Samus Aran. Her battles extend beyond her life and etch themselves into history. Here, another chapter of that history will be written. So, if I'm not mistaken, and I know I'm not because I've seen this many, many times, I've looked it up because I've gotten way into the series, um, the Prime games all take place between Metroid 1 and 2. So this is like after Samus has established herself in the original game, but before any of the stuff involving um, involving SR-388 and, and the baby Metroid, 
all that stuff. That that's all after all this. rumble going on there. See, I don't really have the frame of reference, uh, at least not on hand, but this remaster looks gorgeous. I remember thinking it was okay in the direct, but after actually seeing more of it afterwards, I'm like, oh, this is actually really good. So I'm using the dual stick controls. I'm not used to the, like, I, again, I never played the original, so I don't have the single stick uh, in mind. Personal ZL to lock on the targets, okay? set of force field controls are offline. Scan the central pillar to activate them. Use right to switch to the scan visor, okay? Scannable objects appear as standard or critical targets. Oh. What? Oh, okay. He's got to lock onto it. Force field activation now online. There we go. Again, I did play Hunters for like a couple hours and I don't remember anything from it at all. Force field blocks the Wait, do I have to hold it? To oh, okay. You have to actually have to hold it for it to stay on screen. This force field blocks the entrance. Okay, so ZR fires. That's pretty cool. That's a missile. Is that just another jump? More falls Y. X does something, I don't know what. Oh, and A also shoots, okay. That's kind of kind of intuitive like that. Neat. Tap L or B to jump. Okay, so I see they have it set so like either hand can initiate a jump. to exterior docking hangar. So I know there's a scan log, and apparently there are permanent missables, which I'm not too thrilled about, but I'll, I'll get what I can. I don't know if I'm going to be able to bring myself to actually do everything. That pretty much means walking through every area with the scan visor on. Deck beta, biohazard research, current status, environment normal. Deck alpha. Emergency evacuation area, current status, environment unstable. Deck Gamma, reactor core and propulsion, current status, environment normal. Repressurization successful. All right, we're pressured. Emers or boomers, blitzers, shitzers. I don't know what they're called. They all have they all have silly names. Any beam opened elevator missile recharge. Okay. Docking hangar. Okay, so that's where we just came in. Fram. Fram. From. All 
Arm cannon. Power beam is the default. Arm cannon is the best rate of fire. X plus up to select the power beam. Oh, okay, that's what X is. Power beam doors can be open standard. If the shots ricochet, cease fire. The power beam is not working against that target. The power beam is useful to quickly clear an area of foes. Morph Ball changes your suit into a compact mobile sphere. Press Y to enter Morph Ball mode. Press Y again to leave Morph Ball mode. Like the power suit, the Morph Ball's module. There are several modifications that can be used to improve performance. Morph Ball Bomb is the default. Press Z or R when Morph Ball mode to drop a Morph Ball Bomb. Morph Ball Bomb can be used to act break cracked walls and activate certain devices. The morph Ball is near Morph Ball Bomb when it explodes. It will be popped a short distance into the air. It's called a Bomb Jump. When Morph Ball Bomb explodes, it must be close to the enemy to be effective. Morph Ball Bomb can break items made of sandstone or Talaric alloy. She just got here. How would she know that? Pure energy. Various suit adds increased heat resistance to the power suit. Modification increases the suit's defensive shielding. While the various suit can handle higher temperatures than normal, stream and heat-based attacks will still cause damage. Advanced Chozo Exoskeleton modified for use by Samus Aran. Power suit provides life support functions as well shielded from attack. The modular nature of the power suit allows for additional addition of weapons, visors, and other gear is needed. The power suit's shielding loses energy with each hit. Like the energy when possible to keep the shielding charged. Uh, visor your default visor provides you with the HUD containing radar, minimap, lock on reticle, threat assessment, energy gauge, and missile count. Use up to select press okay. Scan visor used to collect data. Some devices will activate when scanned. Press right. Move the visor over a target. Press an old L. Pressing ZR, A will turn the visor off. Okay. Mission critical scan targets are represented by red. Scanning enemies with this visor can reveal their vulnerabilities. All weapons become inactive when the scan visor is active. Scan data vital to the success of the mission is downloaded and stored in the logbook section of the pause screen. Pressing R on the screen can be used to access the logbook. Okay. Grappling allows you to swing back and forth. Grapple points appears a thing. Press an old L. Press an L to hold it down to stay connected. Let it go to release. Grapple beam can be used to cross large gaps. Use left stick while grappling to swing in different directions. Okay. Missile launcher adds ballistic weapon capability to the arm cannon. Press R to fire the missile launcher. CR A to return back to normal. Missiles fire with the lock on will seek their targets. Missiles can destroy objects made by radion or brimstone. Brinstone, excuse me. Their charge combo and enhancements scattered throughout the environment. They use the missile launcher and the charge beam in tandem to fire more effective blasts. Each missile expansion found will increase the number of missiles possible to carry by five. Okay, standard rules. Not dread rules, that's for sure. Was it in dread? It was like two. Two per upgrade. The charge beam allows you to increase the damage and effectiveness of the arm cannon. Press and hold Z and R to charge it. Release to fire. Charge beam is a limited tractor beam capability used to pull small objects in. There are charge combo enhancements scattered. Th okay. Charge beam also increases the performance of each arm cannon mode. Item collection, logbook entries. Okay, so not everything has to be scanned. <laughs> I like the switch. I like the 3D switch there. Uh, okay, this is all just the same stuff from the main menu, so I don't have to worry about it. Cool. Alright, let's get going. Morphology. Space pirate. Oh. Status. Death caused by severing of the spinal cord. Ugh. Biohazardous materials. Phase on batch 9.A. Destination deck beta. 142.A. Deck beta. Okay. Escape pod entrance. Vessel's already been jettisoned. Platform does not look like it could be activated from this room. Morphology, space pirate status, death caused by severe flame damage to exoskeleton. Morphology, unknown info, high levels of radiation detected. Oh, there's like a heat meter on the right, I see. On the left. Too close and I'll... Yeah, take damage. Okay. Cool. Thank you. 
New creatures entries have been downloaded to your logbook. Okay. Morphology, parasite, interstellar vermin. They travel in swarms. Indigenous to Talon 4, a single parasite is harmless to larger life forms. However, they tend to travel in large groups, swarming over potential prey. Such swarms can be dangerous. Got they ass. Okay. Morphology space pass. Stati space pirate status. Weak life signs detected. Imprints of large bite marks can be seen in the exoskeleton. <laughs> it's like Metroid, but in 3D. Not a fan of this linear menu. But I guess it's supposed to be how it would be in a, uh, in the visor. Okay, wait a minute. There's there's something I keep ignoring here. I gotta see if I could fix this. Control scheme. Dual stick, FPS controls, okay. Gyro, none. Well, how do I fix Can I change that? Use R to rotate the camera. Motion controls are disabled. Here we go. Use R to motion and motion controls to rotate the camera. Perfect. Lock on free aim. Targeting reticle remain fixed on enemies while locked onto them. Use motion control to fine tune it. Use R to fine tune it. Okay. Okay, well, now you can tell it's on because that happens. Bugs. Buggies. Gotta get used to that. Ventilation tunnel to navigation room. Step into the hologram to download the map. Map station. Welcome to the map station to download a map of the area you're in. Okay. Standard stuff. The M room. Just plus to access the map when you're finished. Press plus again to resume play. Okay. Little, hold on. Where am I? Where, where to? But am I? There we go. Okay. All right, all right. Sensitivity is a little weird, though. I'm gonna see if I can fine tune that just a bit. Uh, hey Val, how you doing? Camera sensitive. Okay, gyro sensitivity. Oh, I uh, just cameras horizontal sensitivity when using motion controls. It's almost at the bottom already. Just toying with some D and D stuff. Nice. Hey, Andori, how you doing? Whoa. Okay. Oh God. It's barf mode. We're not doing that. Yeah, we're keeping this uh, close to the bottom. So wait. Lock on free aim. The targeting reticle will remain fixed on enemies while locked onto them. Okay. 
and vert Y and X. I don't think I need to do that because this is first person. No. In first person, I don't like invert on. When it's third person, I, li I like it on because it seems more conducive to how a camera would work behind the character. This is okay. I might, I might bump it up just a tad. It's, it's weird how, like, touchy... The the thing is here. Yeah, that's good. That's not too bad. Talon 4, ground zero area secure. Crater radiation readings normal. Keep one shoot. Access to deck beta approved. Please step into the hologram. Step into the hologram to activate the elevator. Platform active. I like how the gear, like advanced space station with the giant gear that's sparking, like in full view of, like, a person riding it just so they could get injured. Use the morph ball to get through small areas. Best win containment breach on deck beta. All crew report for lockdown. This energy conductor has been damaged. Use caution while approaching the arcing electricity. stuff. Morphology space pirate status severe internal damage detected. Object at a scanning range. Morphology unknown. Low life signs detected. This creature appears to be in a state of stasis. 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 Hibernation. Store has been sealed to prevent radiation leaks. Okay. Oh, okay. So while, while, while I'm locked on, the camera's never going to move, which is good. It's probably how I should keep it. Because it is possible to change them a bit. Use that while holding L to strafe around enemies. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll keep minor, uh, minor motion controls, but with lock-on motion controls disabled. Specimen cell A, status hibernation. Transference of phase-on batch 81 point D complete. Cell B, status unknown, rejection of phase on compound detected. Includes sacs in the mouth and large after mutation. Same. This allows for increased production of corrosive bile. Space fire. Both legs of this creature are broken. I really gotta stop hitting Y. I thought these dudes would rather just kill me, try to kill me, and save themselves. Parasite egg and pupa stage. It's tough exoskeleton protects it from it from its mother's acidic embryonic fluid. Don't we all? Combat mutation applications are complete. The primary legs of this creature possess galvanized tips, allowing it to penetrate any known alloy. Penetrate. After mutation, the carapace of the larva becomes rigid. This kills the larva. Coils in this ventilation cap look unstable. Okay, nothing happened there.
Fire missiles with R. Ballistic support needed in specimen block F. Whoa. Oh, that was a missile. I was like, what is that? It's yellow. It's not the missiles I know. Phase on inf infusion stage two, introducing mutagen into the tank. Phase on batch 732C, status complete. New pirate data has been downloaded. Space pirate encrypted data decoded. Log 99923, Zebes has fallen. All ground personnel are presumed dead. Either killed by the hunter clad in metal or in the subsequent destruction of the underground facilities. Our research frigates Orpheon, Syriacus, Syriacus, Syriacus? And Vol Paragon were in orbit at zero arrow hour and managed to retreat. Frigate Orpheon is now docked at Vortex Outpost. Orpheon's cargo appears to have 100% survival rate. Metroids are healthy, but on restricted feeding schedules due to uncertain supply status. We are ready to begin research on the Metroids and other promising life forms. Security status remains at code, code blue. No signs of pursuit from the hunter. That's me, I'm the hunter. Auto turret disabled. That's 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 a lie. Morphology parasite larva. Our info harmless unless encountered in large numbers. Specimen solitary holding one. Phase on level unknown status. Xenotropic life form unstable. Use caution. Morphology plasmite info native of Talon four. Phase on infusion stage three mutation initiative. Larva status stable. Mechanism, auto turret. Use missiles to break outer casing. That's a side harper I just scanned? Oh. It's weird because, like, I haven't seen these things in 3D. <laughs> so I don't know what they are until I actually fight them. Phase and infusion, stage 4, larva, larva diagnostic. Mass 14.5, length 40.3, cell structure failing. Fusion analysis 10.2. Specimens exhibit incredible body and strength. Increase when exposed to phase on batch, whatever. Specimen shell shocker failing, batch 732C does not match DNA. Terminating in fusion sequence. Fusion analysis 12.5. Phase on batch 3H increases the acidic, the acid production in the saliva ducts of a parasite larva. Is anyone retaining any of this? Because I'm not. I'm just kind of like, ah, yes. This makes perfect sense. Mutagen tank 3, phase on batch 142-6K. Okay. Oh, we shouldn't be scanning things that are that far out of the way. The important stuff is put into the logbook, yeah. Yeah, we got the gamers and the boomers, the hoppers, splitters... The liquors. All the all the fun sci-fi enemies are here. Experiment 435-8. Bioform pain tolerance levels at 13% and holding. Biohazard waste removal may begin in three hours. Phase on radiation readings must be reported to deck commander before batch disposal. Specimen solitary holding one. Oh, I read this already. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's the thing. It's it's big in zero mission. That's the thing that gives you the uh Is it the charge beam? Elevator operational, please step into the hologram. I'll be right here.
I'll do War Wasp info, native of Talon 4. Space Pirate says Brain Hemorrhage Detective. Creature's aim will be hindered. Oof. Avoid damage by using quick movements. I, I couldn't avoid the damage. I keep hitting Y, thinking it's... You know why I'm hitting Y? It's because I think it's Splatoon. And I keep trying to reset the gyro aim. Morphology. Ice Shriek Bat. Inf info. Native of Talon 4. Okay. Parasite Larva. Shriek Bat. Plated Parasite Larva. Okay. Solitary holding four phase on level toxic status. Hermetic seal holding. Phase on level normal. Phase on level toxic. There's a zoomer. Native of Talon 4. Yeah, zoomers, gamers, and uh, sidesteppers. I know those. Just on holding cell five. Status empty. Truck detective and reactor ventilation system. Engineering crew report to freight lift corridor immediately. Security codes and auto turrets are changed every other lunar cycle. Using improper codes may result in turret activation. Death caused by severe lacerations to the abdomen. Access to deck gamma approved. Please step into the hologram. Oh, sideways elevator. Caused by removal of internal organs. Yeesh. The device does not seem to be functional. There must be something nearby that will turn it on. The door is tightly sealed and does not appear to be receiving any power. Door lock enabled. Please insert metallic sphere to open door. Looks like a spherical shape would fit into this clamp. Ah. See? I'm the sphere. I'm the hunter, and I'm the sphere. Charge beam can be used to draw in pickups, right. Save room. Nice. 
Energy fully replenished. Okay. So this is, uh, this is zero mission. Zero mission rules here. Oh my god. Is there a button to, like, reset the motion controls? Gyro camera. Swap. Map. Hold. No, I guess not, because the gyro stuff isn't enabled by default. Use X to switch between beams and R to fire missiles. Switch beams and... Wait, to switch beams and R to fire missiles. What? No. Stop position the visor and beam icons. No. Yeah, no, there's no way to actually... There's no, like, even out uh, motion control option, unfortunately. Zebus has fall. Okay, so this is all stuff. This is... It's nothing I haven't already read. Cool. This creature looks like it struggled to get through the door. I mean, same. Same, TBH. Death caused by cranial trauma. Morphology. Parasite Queen. Parasite Female genetically enhanced by unknown means. A weak spot has been detected in this creature's mouth. Use your auto-targeting to acquire this new target. Scans indicate the presence of a potent mutagen. Origins unknown. Creatures exhibit the ability to fire weapon-grade blasts of energy from its mouth. Trait not present in the standard parasite genome. It appears the pirates have begun a bioengineering program with considerable results. Sp that's the biggest twist, that the space pirates actually have intelligent life among them. Usually they're kind of just shoot first, ask questions later. Good tutorial, boss. I give you the lay of the land.
Auto turret disabled. Well, that's good to know. Creature is deceased. Uh, where the heck am I going? Nope, not through there. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what this piston is used for, but I'm sure it's it, sure it's something other than a convenient uh, obstacle. Shoot! I need my grapple beam. Obviously used to make me flat and thin, yeah. Hell of a time to be giving me a tutorial on something. Subject meta Ridley. Weapon update complete. Stinger Ballistics online. Plasma fuel cell online. In combat visor mode, press and hold ZL when this object is in your view to perform a grapple swing. Cool. Subject meta readily. Cerebral casing stable. Exoskeleton seal holding. Begin umbilical retraction. He is reborn. 
Auto turret disabled. Yeah, well, fuck that thing anyway. I love the idea that... <laughs> I love this idea that Samus gets all these defensive upgrades and then like one hard shock to her chest and they're all just- they're all just gone. Like what's the point at that <laughs> then? Yeah, it protects you, but only- only when you get hit once. Then it's gone. You don't have it anymore. Yeah, I know. It's it's well, it's a, it's a plot. It's a convenient plot device. Also, why didn't she have the gravity suit at the beginning of this? If this takes place after Metroid One, she had the Varia suit, but not the gravity suit. I'm gonna say this like even though even though it's obviously not my preferred suit, I really do like the look of the basic power suit with those kind of like sharper edge. Shoulder bit, shoulder things, as opposed to the big like round pauldrons that she normally has. I just it, it looks very uh, it looks very like old school sci-fi. Tracking on enemy target has been lost. Ground based recon required. Begin landing sequence. This one came out before Zero Mission. Metroid One only had Varia. Oh right, oh that's right. You're right. Gravity suit wasn't until uh. It wasn't in Metroid 2, right? It was, um, it was, it was, uh, Super Metroid. And then storyline-wise, this is before Super Metroid. I know Su Metroid 2 had the Varia suit as well, but I can't remember if it had, a, a gravity suit. Talon Overworld. I know this place. This is where I stopped playing Final Fantasy XIV last month. New extras unlocked in the main menu. Oh boy. Yeah, Super was the first with the gravity suit. Zero Mission had gravity suit as well. Yeah. Well, all the games after um, after Super had gravity have gravity suit. That's a neat little attention to detail, though. I'll say that. Game is not save, energy and ammunition fully replenished. But I mean, I do kind of, like, this suit, this suit looks so, like, 1950s, like, sci-fi comic adventure. I've always had a fondness for it, even if it's not, definitely not anywhere near my favorite suit. Tangleweeds are da only dangerous to small organisms. They are covered in tiny barbs designed to trap potential eels. Tangleweeds lack the strength to do anything more than hinder larger life forms. Okay. And I cannot do Morph Ball anymore. No more. It, it's, it's no longer Morph Ball Monday. There's a small tunnel burrowed into this wall. My biggest weakness right now small tunnels. Hunter class gunship registered to Samus Aran. You can return to your ship by, to recharge energy, reload weapons, and save progress in the game. I'll say Metroid's interesting because it's not afraid to change things up. Because, like, Samus loses her ship multiple times over the course of the series. She has multiple different ships. She gets multiple different default suits. It's weird because at the beginning of Dread, they still kind of refer to that suit as the fusion suit, even though it's very clearly not the fusion suit. And also, I think it's supposed to be implied she regained all of her powers at the end of it. Oh, you know, but she loses them at the beginning as well. Yeah, yeah, no. I remember. Let's 
game is uh, very, very nice looking. Talon Fern, non-toxic variety of Silo Talonesis. Talonesis. Commonly found near water sources. It's a plant. Blast cap. Volatile chemicals within this weed's toxic fungal mint cap may explode if agitated. Poison's flesh of the blast cap helps keep it from being eaten. It also detonates its fungal cap when it senses even slight contact. Rock formation blocks most of the tunnel, but there's a small opening near the floor. Oh, I can't even charge anymore. Wow. They really, uh, they really gimp you at the beginning, huh? I guess you could call this... Gimp suit Samus. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I can't get through there yet. I need to be able to either crawl or, or ball. No crawling, no balling. Yeah, this is good. Bigger movements with the stick, and then smaller movements with gyro. Favorite effect in this game is always the charge blast near a wall. You can see Samus's face reflect in your visor HUD. Yeah, it does work in this game as well, in this version, from what I've seen, but... Apparently, so, apparently, like, the one downside to this version is that some of the lighting effects aren't as good. But, I don't know. Again, I don't really have the original game to go off of here. I already scanned that. No, I didn't. This lichen seems to be given off low levels of radiation. No matches found in flora or fauna data bank. Beetle, burrowing insect with a resilient carapace, extremely aggressive, of course. This insect's massive mouth enables it to tunnel through solid rock at high speeds. Above ground beetles can cover short distances rapidly. They attack anything that moves near their lair. Well, can they attack energy shots to the face? I don't think so. Guide stem. Pervasive indigenous species of bioluminescent weed. Sweet. Sap sac. Chemical reaction with sac produces violent explosion when agitated. Same, TBH. Because of its irresistible odor and sweet nectar, the sap sac was nearly eaten out of existence. The evolution of an explosive chemical sac saved it. Now only braver and genius creatures dare to devour it. For people with guns. G U N apostrophe S. Zoomer anchors itself to walls and other surfaces, avoid contact with spikes. Basic nerve center located directly above the zoomer's mandibles detect nutrients. Sharp spines protected from casual predators, but the lack of reinforced carapace makes the zoomer vulnerable to any indirect attacks. You don't say. Volatile chemicals within this weed's toxic fungal cap may explode. Okay, yeah, yeah, we've seen that already. Some surfaces lichen grow and appears too smooth to be natural. Plant 
replenishes 20 units of energy. Oh, I didn't even think of scanning those. Stone Creeper, gra Stone Creeper, ground vines leach nutrients from moisture that collects on the rocks' faces. Yeah. Yep, scan all the things. I know, I don't want to miss anything. Because there, there are missable stuff, isn't there? That's, a, I, I, that's, that's not how you say that phrase. That's not how you should say that, word it. And these are important ones, because these get added to the logbook, too. <laughs> the, the actual, like, items. I gotta make sure I scan some missiles when I see them. Gamer, wall crawling mollusk with retractable spikes. Evolutionary offshoot of the Zoomer family. When threatened, it extends its lethal spikes and retracts its head deep into its armored carapace. Oh, we can't kill those, huh? Only super miserable stuff is on the frigate in the beginning. Uh, I think I scanned pretty much everything there. Oh. She appears to be healthy, ring dating approximately age at over 200 years. Can I even jump over there? Yes, I can. Be sure to scan every door, too. Does that really count? I mean, these can't, this can't be scanned. Out of scanning range, it's literally right there. A blast shield in the door blocking access indicates, and honestly, indicates that the blast shield is invulnerable to beam weapons. Oh, yeah, explosive damage weapons may damage it. Okay, I was gonna say, because it doesn't add anything to the logbook like the normal doors that in the frigate didn't. Blood flower able to eject toxic spores, toxins, or poison semen of the blood flower itself. Three mouth nodules protrude from its stalk beneath its flower. Each with a rudimentary brain cluster and the ability to spew toxic flames at anything within a five ra meter radius. Spores ejected from the stigma at the set. Excuse me. Center of this flower is sufficient to kill this creature if they explode in its vicinity. Kind of like that. Probably should have seen that coming. Oh, I can't suck that up because I don't have the, the thing. Can I really not get up there? I keep on like cheese out like edges of corners and I know that's not going to work in this game. Door cannot be opened with that weapon. I gotta be honest, looking at that mini map is a little uh a little disorienting. Like it's it's kinda hard to tell where I've been and where I haven't been yet. Chosa Ruins West granted. Please step into the hologram.
I why not? Why not? Disturbance at ruin site. Okay. Yeah, that helps. Sl sort of, I guess, maybe. Those are collapsed from erosion. Carbon dating cannot determine the age of these structures. You cannot fathom. The true form of these, uh, these, these, these pillars. These, these pillars. Chozo lore. Oh man, we just got done with Kirby lore. Now we get Chozo lore. Chozo script translated. The history of the Chozo stretches back into ancient times, so far into the fog of the past that we know not where our ancestors came from. One thing is clear, however, the Chozo who colonized Talon IV made a conscious choice to eschew a civilization of advanced technology. We Chozo chose to live in harmony with nature, guided by the providence of the universe. We believe we will spend peaceful days here and plan our leave, plan our, and plan to leave our words from time to time. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure you will. ZL button on my uh, pro control is gonna get pulped by the end of this game. Passageway to shrine. Okay. Got a half pipe here. I know those are important later. Branches have been forcibly intertwined, forming what looks like a bridge structure. Okay. Oh, these are buggers. Oh, God. Oh no no no. That damage is uh way worse than it was before without the uh without the various suit. <laughs> Ion, a mobile organism entirely composed of ocular tissue, Ugh. capable of launching sustained energy beams when active. The ion is sensitive to light and will close shut if a bright flash ignites nearby. Like that. What kind of god would allow that creature to exist? Get 
getting like spirit temple vibes from this from this area. I guess it's because it's like you know shrine ruins, that kind of fun stuff. War Wasp Hive, primary War Wasp dwelling, only vulnerable to heavy weaponry. War Wasps build their homes over existing crevices, using whatever materials they are, they are close at hand. They carry building fragments back to the construction site with their forelegs and glue them to place with adhesive secreted from their abdomens. Gross. War Wasp, airborne insect equipped with a venomous stinger capable of shearing steel. The War Wasp rarely strays far from its hive unless it's pursuing an immediate threat. It attacks with no regard for its own survival, dive bombing its own its enemy with stinger extended. Fast working toxins from the stinger can incapacitate most small organisms. Unfortunately, I am not a small organism, so it ain't gonna hurt me. I mean, it will hurt me, but. Right organic matter looks like rock carved into the shape of an eye. Scarab, exploding parasites that ex embed their bodies in solid rock. Scarabs think nothing of sacrificing themselves for the survivor safety of their swarm. When a hostile life form is sighted, they block its progress by embedding themselves into the floors and walls. Embedded scarabs violently self-destruct when threatened. Okay. Only translatable symbol detected in the sculpture is the word Shozo. Shozo sculpture crafted in honor of Talon Star. Oh, no, 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 okay. That was merely a ruse. I should have, I should have, uh, figured when my danger meter is going off the damn charts. Bip, bip, bip. Plasmite, small insect capable of storing and releasing thermal energy. Plasmites are attracted to sources of heat, thriving on the energy present there. They emit light when hunting and will expel small bursts of thermal energy when threatened. Oh shit, cool. Drainage trace drainage possesses traces of high level toxins, okay. Elevated bridge looks worn but functional. Me. Me for real. I could use that. Can I have that? It'd be, it'd be really nice. 
Ram War Wasp. Airborne Predator circles its prey, then strikes. The War Wasps are only... It's the only species on Talon 4 to evolve a true hive mind. Nesting in damp, dark places, Ram War Wasps emerge in small groups when threatened and circle their enemy at high speeds, disorienting it. Striking from all sides is a single intelligence that can fell huge organisms. Hive Mecha Security Unit program to work with predatory hive dwellers. The design flow makes the shielding on the hive weak mecha weak around their access ports. These units are second generation combat drones, able to interface with organic units at a higher level. They train, shelter, and work with hive dwelling predators. Unarmed, they also rely on hive beasts to handle any threats. Okay. emitting a high frequency signal signal this may be the cause of the war wasp swarms war wasp war wasp war wasp this music is good the music in this game in general is pretty, pretty slamming Try to scan the wasps. Yeah, I did. I got the wasps already. The ramming wasps and the uh, and the machine port. Are they supposed to avoid getting hit by these things. same no matter what. once I take out. Sweet. Missile launcher. Like how no matter where she goes, there's always Chozo ruins conveniently nearby. That always conveniently have all the upgrades she's lost. Press start a fire, press Z, A to switch back to beams, yeah. Blast shield doors. Additional data downloads to the inventory screen. New extras unlocked. Is there like safety behind this door? Yeah, I guess there is. This item permanently increases your maximum capacity by 100 units. Small tunnel leads back behind the wall. With the width of the opening is approximately one meter in diameter. Missile ammunition which supplies Mrs. Launcher with five rounds of ammo. Sandwich 
Sam is too big. That's convenient. Like the Chozo plan out to have their ruins like break at the exact right moment that Samus needs to get through there. Someone's back behind the wall with the, okay, so it's more morph ball. It's morphin time. Uh Yeah, the map's kind of a pain to read in this game. The fact that it doesn't really- well, I guess it does tell you where you've gone, but... The fact that there's no indication of where items are... Is, is a little... Meh. Hive totem. Ruined nursery. those missiles real quick. When I was a kid, the first real, like, Metroid thing I was ever exposed to, and I mentioned this, like, how I didn't really play Metroid until I was, uh, older, but one of the first early Metroid things I was exposed to was there was an issue of Nintendo Power that gave, like, the speedrun strats. Not only speedrun strats, but, like, beat the game in under this minute, and however many hours it takes to get the best ending in Super Metroid. There was, like, a whole guide to it. And I remember reading about the missile tanks and how about how there was, like, exactly 255 missiles, and I just thought, like, what happens if you use them? How do you get them back, then? Because I had never played Metroid, so I never realized that the missiles were replenishable resources. I thought that, like, once you got a tank, you got five missiles, and that was it. You had, that's all you had till the end of the game. Yes, let us save. We have made quite a bit of progress here. dudes. What? Oh, because I touched one?
The birds aren't going to attack me? Oh, look at Chozo. Chozo on the wall. It's too far away to use. Okay, so I can't get there yet at all. This game really just likes handing out the upgrades pretty quickly here, huh? Whereabouts of attraction device for wall are currently unknown. did not help me at all. Oh, good. Big red. That's where they make the, that's where they make the gum out of. See, he's got a big chunk of cinnamon gum on his back. Plated beetle, well-armored burrowing insect, vulnerable only to the rear abdomen. The creature's thick cranial plating can repel frontal attacks. This gives it an advantage in combat, allowing it to make ramming attacks, only surfacing when it detects vibrations above and maneuvers so it always faces its rival and maneuvers itself as to always face its rival, keeping its exposed abdomen protected. Ah. Chozo, like... Missile ammunition. Resupplies missile launcher with three rounds of ammo. You think that Chozo, like, took that beetle and surgically implanted the fucking, like, switch to, to lower the morph ball wall in its ass? Like, how else would that be a thing? Unless it's bio, unless they put like a bio tracker in it, and it's like, yeah, it, it's it's not alive anymore. We can lower the door. Honestly, quite uh, quite baffling. The Chozo were not really the best of uh, of creatures. If uh, series lore is anything to go by, morph ball.
Oh, I don't have the ball. I don't have the bombs, right? Oh, that's weird. I can't move the cam. You can't move the camera around in this mode. I like how the music evolves as you get more of the abilities. Very, very neat touch. Well, there's a bunch of morph ball areas now that I could go to. I don't think I could do anything with the half pipes yet though, right? No. Progress to the top of a very smooth inclined slope. Who man, hands are starting to get a little crampy. I wonder how playing this with a dual Joy-Con will work, because I know that a lot of people liked uh, Metroid Prime Trilogy's control scheme, which relied heavily on on the Wii Mote for pointer controls. Wait, there's a door over here. Come on. Oh yeah. Cannot be reached from this room. Eh, ain't that a kick in the teeth. Door can only be opened from the other side. Okay. Yeah, those things still hurt even if you disable them. Man, that, uh, that end lag on the, uh, missiles is, uh, is something. Oh, I can't get up there yet. I need to be able to bomb jump. There is still a spot I could go in further ahead, though. That looks like it just goes around in a circle. rest for a second. Probably gonna stop in 30 minutes. Actually, that works out perfectly, and then I could do, if I go to four, I could do two hours of theater rhythm. Yeah, so like, like I said, I'm gonna probably keep to the two and two schedule right now. Two hours of one game, two hours of the other. At least until I finish theater rhythm, just because theater rhythm, you know, it's, it's a long-term game. A lot longer than I thought it would be. Well, probably as long as I thought it would be. I want to get that done. Plus, Metroid Prime itself isn't the longest game, so I think uh, I think I can afford to let it ride it with shorter streams for a bit. I'm still thinking of ideas of what to do for the charity stream this Saturday. Again, it's going to be from 5 p.m. till midnight. I don't know what I want to do in terms of, uh, there's a couple ideas I've had kicking around in terms of what to play, but I don't know what to do in terms of donation incentive to, like, get people to donate. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of something. I'm trying to think of something. I, I said that by, uh, by Wednesday I will announce what I'm doing, 
So I have to think about it tonight and tomorrow. Ah, neat side scrolling. Access to Magmore Caverns North granted. Please step into the hologram. Cool. Chose a script translated. Cries of this dying land echo in our ears as we chose to watch the great poison seep even further into the living pulse of the planet. Dark energy sinks into the trees and waters devouring all life. Peaceful beasts die by the thousands. Some creatures survive, but their forms grow as twisted and evil as the force that fell from the sky. Many of these mutated monstrosities remain small enough to do little harm, but others grow enormous and threaten our very existence. Sacred, uh, one such beast defiles our sacred fountain, disgorging poison from its foul form, replacing pure flowing water with cascades of creeping death. Even in the face of such horror, we chose who do not turn in fear. We are the kind. We are all that stands in the way of... I don't know where the word kind came from. We are all that stands in the way of this great poison, and it is our duty to contain it. This cordite wall hanging appears to be slightly cracked. Oculus, wall crawler that generates electric pulses. The Oculus exposes its single eye when active. The electrical field the, ugh, the electrical field that covers it is enough to deter most predators. If the Oculus detects anything capable of presenting a real threat, it retracts into its impermeable shell. Decorative object is obstructing the path along the magnetic track. Four runic symbols adorn the surface. Matching symbols within this area must be scanned in order to gain access here. Okay, so I don't that's that's a separate power of spider ball required. Okay. Spider ball, spider ball. Ruined war wasp hive. War wasps are resourceful insects. If the destruction of a hive will not deter the survivors from rebuilding a new home. New home. <coughs> Surviving war wasps will defend new sites with their lives until the hive is complete. Depleted. Depleted. Chozo script translated. The future is a vague thing, the ever-changing and always in doubt. Even we Chozo could gain the ability to foresee the future. It would be a hollow gift, for we can never hope to control what is yet to occur. The fountain is an example to this. The day may come where its water dries up, and there is nothing we could do to stop such a tragedy. But we do know this. 
Unlike the uncertain flow of water, the power of our will is strong and enduring. The will of the Chozo will never run dry. Metal gates block the entry to the center of the room. Just scan it. Just scan it, forehead. Okay. It's like putting the poster up. Oh, wait a minute. So those weird warpy walls are all lore. Oh, shit. I have to go back to that wasp room and rescan that when I get to it. What was it? The ruined nursery. Expansion increases the number of missions you can carry by five. To be the first of three locking mechanisms sealing the gate. The lock is active, but its key slot is sealed by a weak metal grating. Second and third. Logbook entries. Well, I'm already at 22% scan. Wow. Wow. I guess the scans must dry up later on. Energy tanks increase the power level available of your suit's defense screens. Each tank increases the suit's energy by 100 units. More units the suit has, longer it lasts in hostile situations. Larger tanks are fully recharged at safe stations. This gunship has this capability as well. Oof, my hands. So I can't go up there yet. Yeah, that's... Oh, wait, no, I could go over there. There's a morph ball spot over there. So I can go to that left... This left side. But what of, uh... Hmm. More missiles. I'm going to get those. Bunch of you. Get in here and put these bitches in here. If 
Not choked by overgrowth. Toxin levels are high. Surges of negative energy brought up by the meteor far exceed our expectation. We chose and may have yet to find a way to rid ourselves of the great poison. All we can do now is seal it away and wait for the day when... Wait, it's all we can do... Ugh. All we could do now is seal it away and wait for the day when a power to purify the poison appears. However, it's already impossible to collect all the pieces of the great poison as it's already spread, seeping into the planet and hardening. Toxicity level is critical. Contact with contaminated water is extremely hazardous. jump. It's very dark. Ugh. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a risk. Order analysis readings show unusually high toxicity. Okay. Time of prophecy draws ever closer. It's said that when the plants wilt and the creatures change and all life fades, the newborn will descend from the sky. K flows, the hatchling will walk a poison path to the source. Toxin levels near 90% in local water supply. Ugh, that's gross. Okay, we're not going in there. Uh, this game doesn't even mark those rooms with a red, like, outline like other Metroid games do. kill themselves before I can read it. <laughs> Reaper Vine. Powerful rock-dwelling tentacle. A single eye upon the Reaper Vine keeps a constant vigil, but its vision is limited to 10 meters. A scythe-like appendage on its tip is honed to lethal sharpness. The Reaper Vine will swing the blade, this blade wildly at anything that enters its zone of perception. do against that. Nothing, that's what. It also suggests the presence of a runic symbol here. Warming toxin levels have rotted all the leaves. Runic symbol has been activated. Venom weed, poisonous plant that retracts into ground if threatened. Venom weeds evolve to thrive in the habitats of large organisms. They lure prey with brightly colored leaves, then attain it with tiny barbs that deliver a powerful toxin. Venom weeds rapidly decompose anything that succumbs in their midst. Heh. <laughs> Come. I don't think you can kill that thing. You can just kind of temporarily disable it.
Four runic symbols in this room must be activated. Okay, well, that's one. Blast shield blocking the door access. What? Now there isn't. Ow! Dicks. Runic. Marunic. Abunic. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, that was the wrong choice! Yow! Thought I was doing something smart there, but uh, instead I was doing something really dumb. I did the biggest dumb. Hatches are open. Uh, all right. How do I get out of here? I don't think there's anything else in here, right? There's a door at the very top, but I don't know how to get in there. Arbiterum, or Ar Arboretum, Aboretum. That's cool. Path of corruption leads e ever higher. Okay. Shriek bat, territorial seal d ceiling dweller. Body temperature peaks at 121 degrees centigrade. Shriek bats have high internal temperature, making them easy to spot with thermal imaging. They roost on cave ceilings while hunting for small prey. Fiercely territorial, they dive bomb any that. Wow, that was a good Jersey accent right there. They dive bomb anything that wanders near. You scan 25% of the logbook. New extras are unlocked in the main menu. I'm so proud of myself. Thank you, game. I deserve this. I deserve this for being a good boy. Uh, except I have no idea where to go. Actually, it looks like that way leads to a dead end, so... I'm going to assume it's a save room. Yep. Does not replenish your missiles. But those do. That which fouls the waters seeks the sun. Great poison comes from Talon's core.
Oh, those are the Shriek Bats, okay. sediments indicate water once flowed here. Increased war increased war wasp detective activity. Strong hive presence within this region. It just like it didn't it didn't indicate that this is the room. It indicated that the same room I was in. I don't, and I don't know. This game's bananas. B a n a n a s. Oh god, my hands are my hands are hurting. They're cramping hard. Roots originate over walls. No decomposition detected. Host plant appears to thrive on toxic water. Large metal gate blocks the entrance to the area beyond. Four runic symbols adorn its surface. Magic symbols within this room must be scanned to gain access here. Hello. Uh, this symbol has been activated. Okay. Two down. It's gonna have to go down there. No, that's a bad idea. It's a very bad idea. I should not have done that. What's this game? This is uh, Metroid Prime Remastered. A remaster of the very first Metroid Prime game on the GameCube. Oi. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm enjoying it. This is the first time I've played this game, so... That seems to be a trend lately. All Nintendo's, like, remakes are games that I've never played, and I'm like, well, now I'm into these series, so now I want to play them. Where, uh... Where is the, is the rest of them? No, you can't. You can't do that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. 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 That's extremely bad. Charge beam. Ooh. It's 
It's a jump and run game, yeah, kinda. That's three. Where's the last one? that one. There's gotta be another one hidden somewhere. Can I play music in the background? Well, I mean, I'm playing... I'm listening to the soundtrack of the game. Plus, uh, I'm gonna be switching to a music game. And as soon as I finish this room and hit a save point. As much as I'm enjoying this, my hand is cramping. Maybe I can get on that, I don't know. I can't step on the tightrope, right? No. Not at all. Oh! There it is, it's in the back. Gate has been unlocked. Cool. Chosen script translated. Disaster struck suddenly. We had a vague, dark foreboding, and it became truth. A meteor appeared from nowhere, casting a dark shadow of debris over the land with the violence of its impact. Its destructive force spent. The fallen star burned out, spread itself out rapidly, and the incident should have faded into memory. But the meteor brought with it corruption. A great poison burst forth into the land, a strange energy that clawed at natural life with ferocity. That strange negative energy emitted from the meteor expanded in, in, to encompass Talon 4. Excuse me. That strange negative energy emitted from the meteor expanded to encompass Talon 4 in a night as a spider weaves a web. The never had obstruction approximately one meter high wide blocks the hole. Open up when I get in there.
And you get to briefly see, if you shoot the missile really close to the wall, you see Samus's reflection in the, in the visor. Really cool detail. Tracking function does not pull in very far. All right. Well, we're at a save point. I think uh, I think I'm gonna save it here and come back to this tomorrow. This is pretty fun. I mean. I, I know what I knew what to expect because I mean Metro who doesn't know what Metroid Prime is I'm enjoying it uh, definitely a little crampier on the hands than I expected it to be but uh, so far pr pretty pretty solid enjoying it a lot um, I will do more of this soon very soon and uh, we'll hopefully figure out where the fuck we're going because I don't right now but I guess that's part of the fun of this game just kind of not knowing where you're going until you're there the the, the real destination is the journey and the journey is the destin uh, I don't fucking know man I don't fucking know